This is a Pi Simple GUI uh, tips video. I generally make these videos for my future self, but if you stumbled across them, uh, welcome to the channel and I hope you find something interesting. Today we're talking about saving and recalling user settings. Um, Pi Simple GUI has a built in user settings API that will save whatever you tell it to into a JSON file. And it's pretty easy to use and uh, just a few lines of code. So um, I'll show you how it's going. Um, this, this, uh, the demonstration is a, a continuation of our uh, comprehension, our list comprehension uh, uh, video. So uh, if you haven't watched that one, you might uh, want to watch that as well. So anyhow, so user settings, it's fairly easy. Like I said, uh, we were talking about it in the comprehension video that, oh, we can uh, use list comprehension to save uh, uh, items from our dictionary our our from our window to our to a list and that way we uh uh have access to it but then we said well what do you do about having a list because after you close the program the list disappears well uh with the user settings api we can take care of that so uh we had a uh uh, list in our last program called my beers so um, um we are going to show you how we can retrieve it and save it so i guess probably go down to the bottom and show you how we're going to save it so uh like i said if we have a event called update then my beers gets uh automatically gets updated here using list comprehension. And, uh, you know, that was from our last video. Um, but if we don't hit update and we decide to exit it, then any save, anything we typed in the thing and didn't hit update on won't get saved. So I'm repeating that line of code down here to recreate the my beers with the latest information in our uh, uh, window, um, it will get updated because this only happens after you hit exit. This is on the way out the door before you close the window and close the program. So, but we did hit, we had this event, either an exit or a wing close. So our um, values got updated. So um, we're good to go there. So whatever values are going to be correct okay but this is the line that we really want to talk about it's a user setting set entry so in other words we're sending something to a file and uh it's actually like a it's sort of like a python dictionary but it's json but it still has a key and the key is going to be called beer list and what we're sending is uh a Python list called my beers and which we just updated. So we're going to be putting that in saving it in a JSON file. Um, but at the top of our code is where we actually create our JSON file. We either create it. So this line here either creates it or uh, links to it to make sure that it's there. And this path equals just a dot. That means that the file is going to have the same name as our program, which is this long name up here, but it's going to be .json instead of .py. So that's an easy way to associate your files, plus I'll be in the list together over here. Um, you can see that I've been playing around with it, and I got a JSON file over here, but I'm actually going to go ahead and delete that. Move the recycle bin. So, okay, so I don't have it anymore. 
So it's going to create it. And once it's there, it's fine. So um, uh, this, like I said, this is uh, the first time through the list. So we do have to make sure that we have a, a list there. So what we're doing is we are doing the user settings get entry. And again, it's that beer list, the same one that we set. So if this was the second or second or next time that we're through here, then we would have information and um, that's great. But if this is our first time through here, we're not gonna get a failure from the program. What we're gonna get is my beers is gonna be set to none. Okay, so uh, uh, Py, our PySimple GUI library takes care of that. Probably if you have a straight Python, you might end up with a uh, uh, not in list error or something. But this takes care of it. It's just going to make my beers equal to none. So we check that. And if my beers is not equal to none, that means we have data then uh, that we had saved last time. We're going to update our uh, our our window, our inputs in our window. And remember, we were we use these. Uh, tuples as our key so this is our key and we're iterating through it with beers dot in zero through seven and we're updating it by taking um the list my beers and we're iterating over it as well with that same x so um, that's going to put it in our list. So that's going to bring back any thing that we had stored there when we left last time. And so we got what five lines of code here and a couple lines of code down here. And that's all we need. We did need to do one more thing. You can't do this update method in PySimple GUI until you have either read the window, which we haven't done yet, or you take and when you're creating your window, you do this finalize equals true. Uh, it's just a stipulation. You have to hit the type in finalize equals true here. And then, then you can do an update on it. I think that what this does is initialize the window, finalizes the window course and everything. So um, anyhow, so we took that, we took our user settings out. So when we run this, we're going to get all blanks, or I hope we do. So we're going to do that, and we got all blanks. And I'm going to make it easy. I'm these aren't my favorite beers for sure, but it's going to be easier. Cores and bud. And Miller, tell I'm in the U.S., right? No. Don't know what else. So, and we can skip. We don't have to go in line. We can put one down here. And, uh, oh, what do we want to put down here? Um, uh, I don't know. Light, I guess. Who knows? It doesn't matter. All right, so we're going to hit update, but we it's going to save it no matter what, but we got those, and they're listed down here in our list. So we can exit now, and normally nothing would be saved. So you can see that we created a new JSON file over here. It has the same exact name, but just has a different extension on it. And... Um, we can actually, well, well, we'll go ahead and run it again, but we can actually look at the value of what's in that file through our editor here. But um, we're going to go ahead and run it again. And uh, all our data showed back up. And this is a real useful thing. So <laughs> um, that's just uh, amazing that 
with just that little bit of code that we can save things in between our uses of the code of the of our program. Uh, we're going to exit out of here. And I am going to take a look at this. And you can see that our beer list is, like I said, it's a dictionary. And the key is beer list. And it's showing our uh, Python list here. Uh, but it's a JSON file. And I think JSON is supposed to be like a text-based file. It's not like a database or anything like that. So, uh, you know, it's, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to write a book and put it in a JSON file or anything like that. But I think that for anything that kind of things that we're going to have in our Python files, this is, this works pretty good. And like I said, you could have a wine list, you could have uh likes and dislikes and whatever you know whatever kind of list and you it doesn't even have to be a uh, python list it could be it could be just a single variable in uh, uh, one piece of data or something like that so anyhow that's my video for today thanks for watching